Hello and welcome. This is Olena Webster with Mashit Real Estate. And right now I'm in Rancha Bel Air. This is one of our current active listings that's available for purchase. As per usual, this has been a very long day with clients. I've been driving all over town. So I'm gonna go get some tacos al gordo and you guys enjoy the tour. Upon walking in, you see the beautiful sunlight hit straight into the window and you are just slightly blinded at first. Once your eyes adjust, you realize, oh wait, are the walls green? Should I remind this is a custom home, which means that several features here would be different from the traditional style. Let's go check out the office space right at the entrance. As I have shown a picture of an empty lot at the beginning, this house began construction in 2015 and finished in 2018, which makes it almost a four-year-old. For such a historic neighborhood where the houses across, to the left, to the right, are boomers and millennials, were built in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, this is such a baby! And the reason why it's so great is because the ceiling height is amazing, the electricity is wired very efficiently, brand new plumbing, HVC, this house will experience no issues for the next 20 or more years. Welcome to the primary suite. It is rather large and is divided by the double-sided fireplace. There are two walk-in closets and they aren't necessarily labeled into his and hers, but I just sometimes assume that the bigger one is usually hers. You can change the color of the walls pretty easily, but it's impossible to completely change the layout or the ceiling height. For me, as a tall person at 5'10", this feels very comfortable and open. These are Hunter Douglas designer shades. They are very fancy and I'm not going to play with them, not even to demonstrate how they operate because they are that special. You can head to their website and see what makes them so different. This is an amazing upgrade throughout the entire house on every window. The luxury of owning a home is being able to do whatever modifications you want to it. There are two safes that come with this house because um, have you ever tried transporting one? These days it is very common for people in Vegas to have safes, multiple of them, in different parts of the house. The seller's favorite color is mint green and hence all the walls throughout are painted in that color. As a renter though, yeah, you're not getting that deposit back. While majority of the house is painted green, the bathrooms are yellow. Here we have an oversized super shower. And from the practical point of view, can you imagine how cold it would be to get in the shower in the morning when you're already shivering? Well, this problem is already solved. There are heater vents, so it's not cold at all. The size of the house is 5,177 square feet. There is also a detached casita of 919 square feet that I will be showing later. There is no carpet anywhere in the house, but hardwood flooring and tile only. Let's go see the kitchen and the entertainment area now. The kitchen cabinets match the flooring style and they are upgraded to reach the ceiling. The thing is, when you have this high of a ceiling, if you don't do the upgrade and leave the empty space above the cabinets, it makes it look much cheaper. Although I am really tall, I would not be using those top cabinets. You basically put stuff you never use in there. My rice maker and the crock pot would go there for sure. Very cool modern under the cabinet lights and you can pick any color or make them change lights every so often. Would be a fun addition to a party. All appliances are stainless steel and custom fit into this kitchen because again, sizing matters. You can just put a refrigerator from Home Depot in here because it will look extremely out of place. That's the beauty of custom homes. However, when you need to repair or replace something, you need to go to a specific vendor. The space and the opportunity is there. It depends on how someone would give a new renovated life into this house. It reminds me a little bit of a dark souled goth house with a character, but only because my house is completely all white and bright and sunshiny. So everybody has a different perspective coming inside. On this stove, you also have a hibachi grill besides the gas burners, and it makes making a Philly cheesesteak so fun. Behind the kitchen, we have this little bar nook area with a small fridge for chilled drinks. Laundry room with oversized washer and dryer, as well as behind we have a camera system monitor, 
All of these houses usually not only have the cameras set up all across the perimeter of the house, but also the monitors all throughout the home as well so that the homeowner may be able to check on them. Although this laundry room is not close to the primary suite, you can run your washer at night and won't be hearing any noise or shaking of the machine. Hashtag overloading issues. We are now looking at the first of four guest bedrooms. It is spacious, so you can comfortably put a king-size bed in here. A few words on the HOA. It is ridiculously low for the community being guard-gated, only $215 a month. I have this unhealthy obsession with guard-gated communities. It creates another obstacle, another layer of safety. And this HOA fee includes gate, the grounds, and ground maintenance, meaning landscaping belonging to the HOA, not the homeowners. Now we are entering into the spacious garage, which can fit up to four cars. Having several windows in here helps make the space feel more open and bigger. Every HOA has rules, obviously, and how do you know what the rules entail? When you are under contract, the seller orders this packet of documents called the HOA demand, so you have a chance to read up on that. Some standard rules usually have to do with overnight parking, landscaping, house colors. The second human-sized safe is located here as well. Very well-kept home, it's clean and pleasant to be here. I would also put some gym equipment here as well. Usually with such large mansions, because we are located in the desert, one of the potential buyer's concerns is the electric bill. In this residence, there is a special foam inside the walls, which helps retain the coolness in the summer and the heat during the winter months. It helps save on the electric bill significantly as well. The only downside is that you are not able to put in more outlets, but the builder made sure that there's no need for that. Another space for an in-house movie theater. This room is obviously not considered a bedroom, it doesn't have any windows, but by installing the projector it is possible to fit in six to eight chairs and a popcorn making machine as well. Here we have a Harry Potter style under the stairs closet and I wanted to see how deep it goes and wow! they indeed maximize the space to the limit. Now we head upstairs where we have a loft area, two other guest bedrooms, and two full bathrooms as well as the balcony. I love when the bedrooms are spread out in the house and it makes it easier for many people to stay over. How I would upgrade this house is paint the entire house white, more specifically linen color by Sharon Williams. I would also either stain or put light honey warm hardwood floors everywhere and put industrial style chandeliers. Without the furniture, it is a bit difficult to envision this place also, but I hope for you, my dear watchers, you can involve your imagination. Out on the balcony, I overlook beautiful and spacious backyard. Now we will head downstairs and check out the casita. The paths outside wind all around the house and the owner went with minimalistic desert landscaping because it requires a lot less water.
Now inside the casita, we see the same consistent colors and flooring. This is a completely detached and separate little house with its own bedroom, living space area, full kitchen, except for it only doesn't have the stove and full bathroom. At the time of filming, the owner let someone stay in here for a few days and I didn't want to impose on their privacy, so I quickly grabbed a few shots and was out. Now we will finally go check out the backyard and the pool. There were some workers making sure that the backyard looks stunning and clean. The lot size is 24,394 square feet. And that is quite rare for Las Vegas. There is a lot that can be done with this outdoor space. You see many round columns because it is a Mediterranean custom style estate and therefore they went all in with the trend. Full bathroom here to take a quick shower after the pool and dry out without splashing the water into the house. Barbecue grill and a little outdoor kitchen setup. There's obviously plenty of space to also put seating, hammocks, gazebos. The fire pit, the hot tub and the pool are connected and on such a warm and sunny day I am more tempted than ever to test this pool out. <laughs> the water is so clear too. Over here there's a little pond, fish or little turtles would do quite well here. Now we will exit off the side gate and complete the walk around the perimeter. It's January now, but honestly I can't wait for spring to come and to see all of these greeneries in bloom. Look at us making a full circle. Thank you so much for staying this long. For more property tours, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Friday with the new property tour.